One of the questions we are asked quite often is, can I add software assurance to my OEM server license? And what happens if I do or do not add it? This brief session is designed to answer this question. First, let's take a look at a short example to answer the question of, what happens if you choose not to add software assurance to your OEM server license? Let's say you purchase a new server and it comes with an OEM server license on it. Within the first 90 days after the purchase of your OEM server license, you do have the option to add software assurance to that OEM server license. For this example, we will assume you choose not to add software assurance to the OEM server license. By choosing not to add software assurance in the first 90 days, your OEM server license remains bound by the OEM licensing rights. As such, it is now permanently attached to the original server it was purchased with. So now, when you have owned your server for more than 90 days, you no longer have the option to add software assurance. So what happens if you choose to replace that physical server or upgrade its motherboard at any point down the line? Because the OEM server license is bound by the original licensing terms, the server license must stay with the original server it was purchased with. So it is retired or disposed of right along with the original server itself. Now when you purchase your new server's hardware, you are not able to transfer your original OEM server license to the new server, which leaves you with an unlicensed server. As such, you would now need to purchase another full server license for the new server. This server license could be acquired through OEM again from the, from the server manufacturer, or you could purchase a server license through volume licensing programs, such as Open Business or Open Value. If you choose to purchase another OEM server license from the server manufacturer, you would then have another 90 days to decide if you want to add software assurance to this new OEM server license. Next, let's take a look at another example to answer the question of what happens if you do choose to add software assurance to your OEM server license. Let's say you purchase a new server and it comes with an OEM server license on it. Within the first 90 days after the purchase of your OEM server license, you do have the option to add software assurance to that OEM server license. For this example, we will assume you do choose to add software assurance to the OEM server license. By choosing to add software assurance within the first 90 days, your OEM server license now has full volume licensing rights, including transfer rights. So now, when you have owned your server for more than 90 days, what happens when you choose to replace the physical server or upgrade its motherboard at some point down the line? Because you added software assurance to the OEM server license within the first 90 days, you now have those volume licensing rights for that server license and can use those transfer rights. This means when you purchase your new server hardware, you are able to transfer your original OEM server license with the software assurance to the new server. As such, you do not need to purchase another full server license for the new server. Another very important thing to remember is that by adding software assurance to your licenses, you are now eligible for all the applicable software assurance benefits for the products you acquired software assurance for. Here you will see several of the benefits included in software assurance. Which software assurance benefits you are eligible for is determined by which volume licensing program you choose to utilize for your software assurance purchases. To see a full list of software assurance benefits being offered along with a full chart showing which volume licensing programs offer which benefits, please look at the software assurance page listed on the screen. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this session, and I hope it helped clear up the questions regarding adding software assurance to your OEM server licenses. For additional information regarding Microsoft's licensing programs and software assurance, be sure to check out the Microsoft licensing website at www.microsoft.com licensing. For additional items like this session, along with answers to top questions, one-page reference sheets, more licensing sessions, and much more, be sure to check out the Microsoft Small Business Channel Community site at www.msmallbiz.com. Thank you again for viewing this session, and I look forward to having you join us for additional sessions in the future. Have a great day.